Apocalypse Gaming. Hey folks, just want to show you where I'm at. I have now attached the Zeppelin um, via a mast and via the two brass tubes. So the mast is now in place and holding up via the front deck which I installed into the Zeppelin and the brass tubes are holding up the second part. The next part of the project now is to put a skin over this um, which I'm going to do using paper mache. I had looked at using um, plaster um, bandages but I didn't like the way the pores were so open and with nothing to press against they've left them completely looking open they've left too thick a skin going on. So I'm going to use wallpaper paste and paper and paper mache this. The um, reason I'm using the wallpaper paste is I believe that this has an agent in it which stops moulding so it just helps protect the model longer. Seeing this wants to be something I want to keep for a long time. So next part, putting the skin on this, but that's it attached to the base. Um, give you an idea of the profile that way a little bit. And you'll start seeing it on the next section. That's the Zeppelin now being paper mache -ed. That was left to dry for a couple of days with a couple of different layers. I have purposely left the paper with wrinkles in it to try and give it the idea of cloth or material wrapped around the frame. It has also now been undercoated ready for its first base coat. On top of that I have also to each wing added these. I want to continue the theme that we had on the hull with the wings at the front. So I have placed these onto the wings that I had protruding already. That's now a base coat of Deneb stone applied using the Citadel airbrush. Um, it's the first time I've applied using an airbrush to such a large surface area. Relatively happy with the results, still learning the tool, yet another learning process with um, this project. Everything seems to be new, but that's what's making this such an enjoyable project. So once that's been given a bit of time to dry, because it is paper so it could be wet even though it looks dry on the surface, I might head up with another coat. That's now a blue coat added to the frame. I think you can see now how I'm trying to get this to look because what I'm going to do is highlight those metal edges which are underneath the, the paper which have shown up through the paper in lighter shades of blue just to try and enhance the structure colour I used was marine dark blue which is an exceptionally old GW colour some of these may know it, most of these probably don't um, so first blue colour on that's on top of my army painter white and Deneb stone um, and I'll continue with that with a lighter tone of blue now that's me now laid down my other two colours to cover the zeppelin so I next hit it with Ultramarines Blue and then highlighted with Games Workshop Ice Blue. So that's that part of the Zeppelin complete. Um, reasonably happy with the outcome. First time again I've properly used an airbrush. Um, if you haven't got an airbrush, great tool, awesome fun to play with. Did take a bit longer because I never got my paint mixes correct so I kept blocking it. But once I got my mixes right I was really happy with using it. Um, and it's a tool that I'm going to be playing with a lot more. So now on to the wings. That's the wings now base coated. And I'm going to move on and give these a wash. Um, and I'll let you see what it looks like with the wash just shortly. Hey guys, that's the Zeppelin component of this build now complete. So I'll give you a wee flyby so you can see what this part looks like before moving on to the flight base. I've got the rear propulsion propeller at the back. I have got the wings now painted up and detailed. Underneath we have the smaller rotors which are magnetised because these rotate which allows change of direction for Thunderchild. So that's this component complete as I say and now moving on to the flight base. But overall quite happy with where it's at. Hope you like it too. Right folks, this is the start of the base. 
Um, it's a size wise 6x5 base. I wanted it 6x4 which is the size of the Ragnarok base but I just couldn't make it small enough for what I'm wanting to do. It's plastic hard and modular movement tray edging parts and these components here are what I'm going to be using as the flight base. A for weight and B because I think they look cool and C because it's to give the impression of Thunderchild flying over the heavy rock formation. So this will add ballast to stop the model tipping over and just give the idea and impression of it flying over the top. So it's two casts of the same mould from Woodland Scenics and Krista Cast R which is an exceptionally good plaster material because it holds the detail really well and it's very strong. I use this stuff in all my Hearst moulds and I like it a lot. I have also used the Woodland Scenics Hydrocal and I do not like that. It's softer and doesn't hold the detail. So this stuff after it's dried up takes 20 minutes to set if you want to then make it stronger and better you stick it in the oven for a couple of hours at the lowest temperature your oven will go to and it makes it really solid, really good stuff. So that's what I'm using as the base and Thunderchild will fly above this. So that's the casting of the base mounted and drying up. Just now it's setting in the Krista cast. Um, I've filled up the base of this here as well to help glue and adhere the rock formation into place and also to kill any seams off so it looks like it is coming straight out of the ground. I've then filled the gaps that appeared in the centre um, with putting roughly dried up Krista cast into it to try and give it a non-uniform appearance so I've waited and waited and waited for that to just start to go off and then rammed it into the crack as fast as possible to try and give it a non-uniform appearance. Once that's set I can take a couple of wee chips out of it um, but I'm going to leave this to set up for an hour or so and then crack on with the next stage. Okay guys, that's the base black bombed as Bill would put it. Um, so now I'm going to start dry brushing this up. So I'll be using black and white mixes just to get greys and build it up and see how it looks at the end. That's now the base highlighted um, and the underside of the base has got brown on it for a flock it. So various different mixes of black and white just to bring the greys up to the highlight edges might need to give it another spot white looking at some of the points but let this dry up and if i do i'll hit it with another little bit of white but otherwise it's getting there so it'll be flocking next and maybe a couple of dry brushes of white that's the base now complete so give you a quick view of it because it's easier to do it this way and turn in the entire model Happy with how it's came out. Now I need to mount Thunderchild. Okay guys, that's Thunderchild complete and finished. So what I'm going to do is give you a rotational view around her. Um, but first of all I'll give you the top to bottom. So here we go. Up to 3am in the morning finishing that flight base off. Today's the day Finecast comes out, so the shop's holding a mini demon competition. So I'm going to enter this as my vehicle. Um, at least I'm going to try, it might be disqualified because it's not a GW kit, but it's built for GW games and there's some GW parts in it. So I'll try and enter it. So let's give you the rotational, see what you think.
and we'll leave her there on that profile. I'll give you some photos as well guys. Hey folks, as you know, every good ship needs a good crew. So, to pilot Thunderchild, we have the White Dwarf Special Edition and his Biggles outfit. And to help him crew that, we have Long Drong's Slayer Pirates. Because who's better to be on board a ship than a pirate? So we're going to have Long Drong and his Slayer Pirates and the White Dwarf to captain it. So I'm going to paint these wee boys up and I'll let you see them. In fact I might as well take them out of the box and show you what it looks like. So we have White Dwarf. Comes propeller separate. I've cleaned up the flash on these ones so it gives you an idea. So White Dwarf in his Biggles outfit. And then we will have Long Drongs and his crew. So, again, cleaned up the flash in these guys to give you an idea of what the crew looks like. a lot of these guys some of these repeat I'm not sure which ones I've shown you already when I come to paint I'll try and paint them so they don't repeat so that's the standard crew we then got musician. Long Drong himself. And the standard bearer. So that's the crew for Thunderchild.